All right, guys, I'm just making a quick video. This is gonna be a two-part deal, maybe a three-part deal. Uh, 1979 Oldsmobile Delta 88. Um, hasn't been started in 24 years. Last registered in 2000. Um, has sat in Parker, Arizona since 2000. Originally came from San Bernardino, California. So no rust on this car. It is a two-door. It is not the one that has the Landau padded top on it. Um, I put brand new tires on the thing, so it's got brand new white walls. Um, so this is kind of really, I guess, the third start because the first one I didn't video. The second one I thought I videoed. So this is the third one. So I put a little bit of fuel in the fuel bowl and the carburetor. Um, fuel tank was empty, completely bone dry. So it's got about three gallons of fresh fuel in it. But what I found the first time that I started this was that the fuel lines that are run up, um, the rubber in them is completely gone. So it uh, pukes fuel. So I just want to show that it starts. So make a quick video on that real quick. I did put a new battery in it, obviously. <laughs> she's out of fuel so there is a running and unfortunately it is puking gas under there where those fuel lines run right out of the fuel tank so um, it will need let me turn the ignition off it will need uh, basically any of the vacuum lines belts hoses fuel lines anything that you would expect a car that has been sitting for 24 years um, would need to be addressed on this thing. Other than tires, it does have brand new tires as of last week, and I did put a brand new battery in it. But otherwise, plan on, you know, cooling uh, cooling system. I'd probably throw a water pump on it. It's a 350 small block, so, I mean, 50 bucks, you get a water pump for the thing. So um, the air conditioning compressor is still hooked up. Couldn't tell you if it works. I'm sure it needs... Um, refrigerant and I'm betting that it is probably an R12 yep it is an R12 system so if you've got R12 that would be a little bonus because you could have really nice cold air conditioning as opposed to that 134 that's garbage um, what else I'm gonna do a walk around video on the whole thing showing the body the interior I'll go over the underside of this thing and just kind of let somebody see exactly what this car has and doesn't have and hopefully point you in the direction of stuff that it might need but i mean overall if you're looking for a two-door kind of big body old school v8 car this one's in very straight shape i mean it's got a couple dings here and there but all the bright works in good shape on it um the interior, you can tell the heat has gotten to the interior and any of the plastic parts are pretty brittle on it. The dash is actually in really good shape. Um, all the lights work and all that stuff. So, but like I said, this will be a couple part video. Um, I'm gonna pop it up for sale, probably on Craigslist in Las Vegas, Phoenix, and those types of areas. Um, keep in mind, this is a 1979. So if you have emissions, in your state or county or wherever you are. Um, it doesn't appear that anything has been taken off of this as far as emissions go. The uh, catalytic converter is still underneath it. Um, I believe that's a smog pump right there. So it looks as if everything is here, but I in no way uh, know if this will pass smog. So I'm out in Arizona. We do not have emissions testing here, but being a 1979 just check make sure because i have no liability whether it passes or doesn't pass so i rescued this thing from somebody's house it had been sitting for 24 years and i knew it was kind of a cool desirable car in the shape that it's in and uh kind of my work here is done for somebody else to take the reins on this thing and throw an ls in it um maybe make it a donk put some 32s on it i don't know whatever whatever somebody wants to do with this thing i mean i guess i could i guess i could make a quick 
you know what, we'll make this a one part series since it's not too hot and I don't think my phone's gonna overheat. So 5.7 liter um, right there. So here's another view, all the air conditioning's hooked up. It does have a new battery, uh, front end, all the, all the chrome and everything is in really nice shape. It's dirty, we had a storm roll through, but all the chrome looks to be in really nice shape. It's not all dented up or banged up. Headlights work, blinkers work. So just go down here. Tires are brand new as of last week. They're nothing special. They're just a, a white wall, 235, 75, 15. Oh, I'm sorry, 225, 75, 15, which is what it called for. Um, absolutely no rust whatsoever on this thing. Um, I can take more pictures if I don't get it in the video here to show that. But, man, you can see like all the rocker panels. They have these chrome trim pieces on here. There's no bubbling whatsoever. And the frame is in really nice shape. This is a coil spring rear end on this. So it'd be really simple to um, add bags, which is pretty sweet. So I'll jump on the inside here after this. Um, all the trim is on this thing. Windshield doesn't have any cracks in it that I could see. So mirrors are in nice shape. All the, all the glass is in really good shape. I didn't see anywhere that the glass is damaged. It did have trim on it when I got it, and you can see that um, the trim actually has been on there so long that it took the paint down to the primer in spots. So, and it's kind of dirty with goo, but I imagine if you got another piece of trim, you could put it right over it and you'd never know. And this being single stage paint, I didn't want to do it, but I've done it on another vehicle where you buff it with a hard pad with a rubbing compound and then go over it with a polish. And the stuff I would think would turn out pretty nice. It is pretty checked on the, uh, the top side here, but I think you could still make it look pretty nice. So inside the rear wheel well on this thing. You know, again, no rust. It's lived in the desert basically its whole life. Somebody welded a hitch on the thing years ago. So big old gas tank, that thing was empty. Uh, coil spring rear end. Rear, rear end was resealed and new fluid put in in, I believe, 1999. There's a receipt for it. So I'm imagining whatever you see there leaking maybe was from when they did that. I don't know. But I imagine whoever gets this thing is probably going to go through it front to back, top to bottom. But you can see the frame conditions. Pretty mint for being 45 years old. So. <clears throat> Same thing with the rear bumpers or bumper. There's no damage on the rear bumper. Uh, you can see last time it was registered was 2000. Bought in San Bernardino. All this chrome's in good shape. It, I mean, this it does have a little crack in the chrome right there. I have this emblem. It's in the in the car. So there's a little scratch right here in the paint. Again, this is the trim where the trim was. And I do have pieces of the trim, but it's in pretty rough shape since it was kind of a rubber. So inside this wheel well. And these rocker panels. That's not rust. That's actually some of the undercoating. But you can see there's no rust. There's another shot underneath. It does look like it had a pretty healthy leak um, up by the transmission. It's pretty well coated with, uh, you know, it could be that valve cover. It looked like the uh, driver's side valve cover was leaking oil too. So, but like I said, somebody's going to just redo this whole thing, I'm sure. So, going down the side. All the trim that's off on this side it does have the Delta 88 logo still. All the original hubcaps are there. Inside this here. Creep up here. Comes with some free spider webs. So we'll jam inside. Again, this thing has sat in the desert for years. So your door seals are going to be a little crispy. 
uh, windows are crank. They crank like they should. The dash in this thing, there's no cracks in the dash and the padding and everything is still good. It's got some wood grain. Who doesn't love some wood grain? With your AM radio, not even an FM in this boy. And the reason there's foil on that, because it sat in the sun so long that it's got this sticky film on it that if you get it on you, it's like glue. So I know it looks kind of funny, but that's what I had. Um, carpet's kind of rough, so you can see where the sun has kind of baked it. The seat is there. Pa uh, driver's side's worse. All your rear seats are there. Headliner is shot. The only thing left in the headliner is the foam. So I've said it a million times in this video. I imagine somebody is going to take this thing and make it their own with custom interior and all that stuff. So just want to show what there is to see on this thing for somebody's project. If somebody wants to pause the video, manufacturer tag. So this has 74,173 miles. And from the history that I can see inside the glove box of when it was driven in California till when it was parked, that looks to be accurate to me. Um, also, you can look at this. That's usually a telling sign. There's hardly anywhere on the brake or the gas pedal. So I'm pretty confident that this thing only has 74,000 original miles on it. But I cannot guarantee that. That is just my best guess. Um, yeah, so everything's here for the seat. It is not down to the springs, but close. Um, it's still got padding and stuff in it, but I mean, you can see it in the, in the video. Seat belts are all there. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of what it is. These guys are getting hard to find, especially in the two door variety. Um, I actually didn't see any on Craigslist or Marketplace that were I believe this body style was 77 to 79 Delta 88, and I didn't see any two doors. I saw Regals, I saw, oh, there were some Novas, and some of those other big body GM cars, but not a single Delta 88. So if you dig the old Delta 88s, let me know. Um, I have a clean title. It is an Arizona title. It is in my name, not in the previous owner's name. Uh, what else? Um, if you do intend on buying this, I will need to be paid 100% in full before uh, this gets picked up. And you will need to let the transport guy know that this does not run and drive. So here's a shot of the trunk. So transport guys have to know that because they have to have the ability on their truck to winch it on. So that is necessary. I can help them load it as far as being here and assisting them as much as I can, but they need to have the ability to load it onto whatever type of car hauler you intend to have it hauled on. And it is on your dime. I am not paying for any sort of freight. I must be paid 100% in full before this thing ever leaves my property. So, and if somebody needs a, a few days, because I know a lot of guys use U-Ship and these other brokers, I'm 100% on board with that. Just have them com uh, communicate with me and I will make it as easy as possible for them to pick it up, set up times, all that stuff. I have a wide open schedule, so I can um, pretty much meet them at any time, but... I just want to make sure that I'm covered. And as far as you getting the title as the buyer, I can either put it in the car when you buy it and stick it in the glove box. And then when the car gets to you, you'll have it. Or I can overnight it and send confirmation with a picture um, showing that it was sent. And obviously 
will have communicated on the phone by then. Um, I'm not doing anything by text or email. Like this is something that I'm actually gonna talk with somebody before they buy it and make sure they know exactly what they're getting and make sure everything is set up perfectly because I don't want to run around and chase money and have somebody on the other side unhappy with what they got. So if you have questions and you haven't seen it on here, if there's anything I need to take pictures of, if there's any other information I can get you on this car, please ask before you want to purchase it or ask me questions or whatever you do. Just uh, we'll keep each other informed. So that's usually the easiest way. So hopefully this helps you guys and uh, I look forward to talking to you. Bye.